Hi angels, my name is Ebony. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the spiritual significance of seeing lizards. Geckos are lizards. It's pretty much the same energy, same message, but more specifically lizards because that's what I've been seeing my entire trip. Right now, I'm downtown in Miami and I've been here all week and I've just been seeing so many lizards like everywhere I go. So I wanted to do something that was meaningful and relevant for me. So I did my own research because I wanted to know why I keep seeing these lizards. Like what is going on? So I got some real good energy for you in this video. So if you see them all the time, don't be alarmed, don't be frightened and uh, welcome their energy is real powerful. If you're watching my videos and if you're subscribed to my channel and if you've been following me, you know I'm really tuned in to the spiritual. I know nothing comes to me by accident, whether it's um, repetitive numbers, feathers, uh, pennies and dimes on the ground, um, a song, a message, different animals they all bring different messages and vibrations to you so um the last chapter in my book angels everywhere talks about the spiritual animal totems and symbols that i've seen in my life like i said i just started seeing lizards well actually a couple of weeks ago i seen a lizard on my friend's porch and then ever since i've been in miami i just see a whole bunch of lizards so i know it has a message for me when you see any type of animal totem that makes itself known to you repeatedly, whether it's a bird or um, some type of reptile or some insect or whatever, um, the essence is spiritual. They're giving you some of the traits that they may have. It's either showing you that you have access to this power. It may be areas of your life or your character that you need to grow and embrace. Um, but it does have a message and nothing comes to you by accident, especially when they make their presence known to you repeatedly. Anything that shows itself to you repeatedly is a sign. Anything. So each animal has a specific energy. Some are really fast. Some are great predators. Some are um situated in the close proximities of the universe like birds some are very clever like they just all have different qualities and traits so it's important for you to do your research so you can see which qualities resonate with you or which ones you need to develop or which ones you need to tap into and tune into that are present within yourself because it's all a message so lizards are messengers of wisdom and light you're here to shine your light um, you're a messenger you're chosen <laughs> one good note about lizards is that they are able to travel into different dimensions they move very quickly and swiftly and they also have that energy to where they can um, move in between dimensions from the spiritual to the physical and they move very fast like they're very quick they'll get away from you real quick you'll miss them if you don't really pay attention so being that they're able to move in between dimensions like that they bring you a message of spiritual protection like you protect it no harm is going to affect you okay like i said before the weapons may form but baby they won't prosper it ain't gonna work <laughs> okay so when you see that lizard it's giving you that energy too like yo you you know how to protect yourself you know how to um handle any predators that may come and may try to mess up your flow or bring any type of harm to you like none of that stuff is gonna work it ain't gonna work they're agile they're flexible they're quick they're swift they're smart um, they're intelligent um, they're good in camouflaging themselves blending in getting away like they know how to maneuver to get away from any type of harm so they bring that energy to you too like you good ain't nobody gonna mess with you baby it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work okay you know how to protect yourself and that's a good energy for you to tap into and tune into and remind yourself of and lizards also remind you and bring you a message for you to face your fears don't be afraid what are you what are you afraid of like it's temporary okay once you face your first fear like my biggest fear was getting my face cut after that happened and i realized it was just an emotion that comes in waves and after you face it and you feel it it doesn't have any power over you anymore i wasn't afraid of anything like I'm literally in Miami by myself. I went to China by myself. Like there are certain things that I'm just not afraid of anymore. And I really don't know what I'm afraid of because my biggest fears, I've already faced them. So this energy lets you know to go ahead and face your fears because once you do it and you feel it, it's just an emotion. It's just an emotion and it's temporary. Once you feel that emotion, it's over with. Like whatever your fears are, just go ahead and face it. 
um, because what you resist persists. It's gonna happen to you. My biggest fear ever was right here. Like I was so scared to get my face cut. Like I was scared. Uh, okay, don't touch my face, but hey, life happens, things happen to you. And once you face your fears, like I said, it don't have no power over you no more. It's like, it's over. And the lizard brings you that energy as well. Like just face your fears, you got this, go do it. Okay, don't be scared. Don't be scared to jump. Lizards also want you to be focused and committed on your goals. Like focus on what you're here for, what you set for yourself, what you want to accomplish. Stay focused on that with your vision because it's linking you to the spiritual. Like you have the protection, you have everything you need. Now just focus on what, what you're here for and what your goals are. Lizards also remind you to tune into your intuition. How do you tune in? You tune in by meditating. You tune in by doing things that makes your soul happy. Um, you tune in by remaining calm. You may be praying, meditating, journaling, exercising, um, doing something that will soften your spirit so that you can hear the voice of your higher self. Okay, that's tuning in. Tuning into what your voice is telling you tuning in so that you can have clear insight and direction and um, clarity on what to do next and what you're here for that's what tuning into your intuition is but you can start by meditating calm your mind every day 15 minutes 10 15 no at least 15 minutes at least 15 minutes just sit down for 15 minutes out the day and just meditate breathe tune into that your spiritual side because that's gonna take you places you've never been before. You can't even imagine once you tune in. That's what the lizard is telling you to do. And not only that, when you tune in, you building up that spiritual protection. You're already protected, but you walk around like you really have this aura, this energy of don't fuck with me. Don't mess with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the one. It's just like dogs. When you see dogs, they know who to run up on and attack and who to bark on. And they know who to leave alone. They know who to leave alone. So you have that same energy that's available and present to you. And you need to tune into it because you are spiritually protected. Whatever is coming for you, like I'm in Miami right now. I'm good. All right? Ain't no virus, no enemy, no negative energy coming near me. Okay? Nothing but love and blessings have been flowing to me this entire trip. And even when I got invited to go to a club... Where it was a lot of people in there i did not step foot in the club the person that invited me came out and we went somewhere else like and i was just like god thank you because the club was packed you know what i'm saying i really didn't want to go in there but after i thought about it and i didn't think about it then but after i thought about it like god protected me to where i didn't even have to step foot into that club he came out and took me around so that was just like okay i feel i feel special and protected which is another thing, and I'm glad I, I chose um, lizards down here in Miami because I'm here by myself. I did a solo trip, another one, and um, the message, one message of lizards is that they move around freely, and they may be encouraging you to do the same. Like, it just works for me. I've been telling myself that for years. Like, I have no problem going anywhere on this God green earth by myself, and actually, I prefer to, <laughs> to travel alone because I just had so much fun by myself. I meet so many beautiful people and friends that just want to take me places and do things for me and buy me stuff and show me nice things and take me to nice restaurants. Like It's just amazing. So um, that was a, a comforting message to, to read about the lizards that they move around freely and they encourage you to do that too. And I'm down here in Miami moving around free as a bird. <laughs> So I received that. So lizards also want you to, because they shed their skin similar to snakes, they want you to release the old. Like my mama say, you can't get a new fish with one on the hook, baby. You got to let it go. You have to release the old to make room for the new. You can't be holding on to something that you know not good for you. So if you're seeing lizards all the time, they may want you to break out of those old patterns and old cycles and release some things so that new can come to you. Like, let it go, okay? He don't want to answer, baby. It's another one ready to ring your line. Trust me, I promise you. He don't want to call. It's somebody begging, praying to dial your line. It's somebody praying to be around you. You feel me? So let it go. Release the old so you can welcome in the new, especially when you see the lizard. It's time to change some things up. Another interesting fact about lizards is that they can regrow their limbs, like especially their tail. They can cut their tails off and regrow it 
So that energy is being ushered into you as well. Like whatever you lose, you can get more. Anything you lose will be replaced with better. Period. I ain't never lost nobody, nothing worth keeping. And anything I ever lost, I got something better. Whether it's a crib, a car, a lover, friends, businesses, whatever. Anything that I've lost to this day has always been replaced with something better. So don't be afraid of letting things go. When I move, I get rid of all of my stuff. I don't take old furniture in the new spaces. You know what I'm saying? And everybody, why are you selling all your stuff? You sell because I don't want that. I want a new space. I want new energy. Okay, so maybe you want to take that as well. Let it go. Like, go through your closet and clean out all that stuff and get rid of it to somebody that will really appreciate it. Don't be holding on to stuff. Oh, I paid $800 for that. Okay, it ain't worth it no more. It's worth like $50. So get rid of it. So what? You paid for that 12 years ago. <laughs> It's over now. You know what I'm saying? Release it and let it go. That's what the lizard is encouraging you to do because they can regrow their limb. They'll get rid of their own body part because they know it'll come back. So that's the message for you too. Let it go. I'm always talking about change, especially when I see uh, fives. It's all about change. The lizard represents change too because they're chameleons like. They can camouflage themselves. They can blend into anything. They are encouraging you to break those cycles. So when you break the cycle, it has to be some change because you don't want to be like a hamster on a wheel, just moving around and around and around, doing the same thing over. No, you got to switch some things up. Okay, like I wanted to go to Charleston or I wanted to go somewhere in South Carolina. All the beaches that I've been to and I frequent so much, I was like, no, I want to go to Miami. I've been to Miami before, but I haven't been able to, I haven't been here um, enough to explore. Like go to Wynwood, go to uh, Bricknell, go to downtown Miami, and go to Sunny Isles. Like all the places that I've been through during this week, I haven't had that opportunity to do it. So I wanted something different. And I'm glad because I'm doing this video on lizards now and it's all about change. And this trip was changing things up. I didn't want to go nowhere that was familiar. I wanted to go somewhere with some new energy. The lizard inspires you and encourages you to do the same thing. Switch it up. Break out of your old routine. Go a different route to work. Um, try something different. Go to a different restaurant. Cook some new food. Um, talk to somebody different than what you're used to talking to. You feel me? Meet some new friends cultivate some new relationships so basically leave the past in the past y'all know i'm always 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 gonna be the one to encourage you to move forward and try something different y'all be in my comments talking about you want your ex back baby leave that ex alone leave them right where they are okay i'm never gonna encourage you to fight for nobody that don't want you Okay, I'm never going to encourage you to try to make something work that ain't working. I'm always going to tell you to move forward. All right, I'm always going to tell you to let it go. It's something so much better coming. So that's the energy that the lizard brings to you too. Leave the past in the past, baby. Leave it alone. Move forward because I promise you that new lover, yeah, much better than the old lover. That new crib much better than the old crib that new job is gonna be much better than that job you're trying to hold on to i promise you okay so leave the past in the past and lizards also symbolize the dreamers it's so much good energy that i just got researching this because i'm a dreamer i'm a dreamer because i know that dreams come true you know what i'm saying you tune into your intuition you tune into your visualization your higher self and you're gonna watch a whole nother world open up to you you're going to watch so many blessings come to you. Hey there. Oh, I want some water. You got water in there? Yes, coconut water. Let me get some. You take cash yet? Okay. Let me go get some. Oh, I love it. This is the best beer you ever tried today. Are you sure? If you don't like it, if you don't, if you don't taste it. If you don't like it, you don't pay for it, right? Okay. Let me send this to my company at Coco.com. Coco.com. Okay, yeah. I trust you. I'll go ahead and see. No, no, no. I want you to try it for it. Okay, y'all. So I just had to stop to um, get some coconut. He was <laughs> to get my coconut water. Why well, I just went to, um, I went to pay on Cash App because my purse is in the car and I was going to pay him on Cash App and just noticed someone sent me $777 this morning. So thank you, boo. Whoever just sent that to me, I love you so much. Like, that's why I'm saying the energy is so high. You feel me? Like, down here is nothing but abundance and prosperity. I love that. So, anyway, let me finish this so I can go catch my flight. <laughs>
<laughs> I love it. I can't make it up. Oh, and wow, the next note was those who don't believe in magic will never find it. That was my next note that I was going to share with you. <laughs> I can't make it up. <laughs> anyway, so yes. Okay, the lizard is reminding you of that. You have to believe. You cannot listen to other people saying what what is wrong and what's evil and this ain't right. No, you have to tune into your intuition and listen to what God telling you to do. If he say move, if he say do this, if he say if it feels right in your spirit and it works for you, it works for you. They also want you to spend some time alone soul searching. That's why like I wrote this morning on Instagram like I'm solo traveling all 2020. I don't even want to go nowhere with nobody. Like I love my friends, don't get me wrong, I love y'all to death. But I want to travel alone. I love being here, waking up when I want to, meditating, going to the beach. I fell asleep on the beach one night. I woke up, it was like 2.30. I'm on the beach sleep. You feel me? I couldn't do that if I was with somebody. But I felt so in tune with the universe, with my higher self, with my soul, with God, with my creator. I just felt so in tune. And you can tell I'm vibing high. You may be being encouraged and pushed to spend some time alone to figure out what works for you and what you want and how you want to live your life. Lizards overcome any personal attacks. Like anybody that's trying to send some negative energy to you, the lizard is bringing you that energy like, don't even, look, you ain't need, that's light work, okay? You're gonna overcome anything. You know how to defend yourself. You know how to protect yourself. You know how to um, protect anybody that you love and those that are around you, like you good. They also take excellent care of themselves. It may be a message for you to do the same. Take care of yourself, groom yourself properly. Just because we supposed to be locked down or whatever, still get, keep yourself together, okay? Don't let yourself fall off because of what's going on in the world around you. Still take care of yourself, nourish yourself properly, um, engage in your self-care routines, whatever you do to make yourself feel good. Um, go where you need to go. Don't be locked up and cooped up in no house, baby. Get outside, get that sun. You see how the sun's shining on me? You feel me? I'm not afraid of anything. Now, I am a little more precautious now that I'm down here, but the only reason why I don't have a mask on is because I'm literally by myself, like nobody is near me, and I'm by water. This is the highest vibration you can have. This water is so healing. Going in any type of small places or restaurants, of course, I'm going to be protected. But you know how to take care of yourself, okay? That's what you need to do. Do what you need to do in order to make yourself feel good. Look, get your nails done. Get your hair done. Um, get your facials. Do your own facial. Get your feet done. Um, do whatever you need to do to engage in some self-care so that you can vibrate a little higher and feel good about yourself. Lizards also symbolize quickness. Being quick and swift, they move so quickly. Like, you see them, you got to catch them. It's hard to catch them because they gone. So I'm taking that energy as moving quickly when you get uh, intuitive nudges. And I always think about that secret quote where he said the universe loves speed. If you get a nudge to do something, do it quickly. Don't wait. Don't ponder and say, is this the right move? If you get a nudge and you know it's from your high self and you know it's something you've been praying for, move. Move now. Move quickly. Get it done so that it can come to you. Okay? And the lizards is letting you know that too because they move quickly. They're experts in camouflage. They can blend in. They can adapt. So that energy is being ushered to you too as well. They can also sacrifice for their survival. Like they'll, like I said, they'll give up a limb to get away from a predator. Okay? They'll give up a limb to do whatever it is they need to do. So you may need to do that too. Give up whatever it is you need to give up. Give it up. Let it go. Sacrifice just now. It's so worth it. The reward is worth the sacrifice, okay? Trust me. The reward is worth the sacrifice, all right? In order to focus on your dreams, you have to listen to what your heart is telling you. Not what your ego self is telling you, but you have to listen to what your heart is telling you so that you can go chase your dreams, even if it makes you uncomfortable. And most importantly, angels, the lizard lets you know that you got so many hidden gifts and talents that you need and y'all know i always tell you that we need your gifts we need your voice we need to see your face like we need all of that we need everything that you have and you got everything you need right now in order to accomplish your goals your dreams to live your fullest potential like you got everything you need 
and right now it's almost five o'clock my flight leaves at 7 44 so i need to be making my way to the airport um but i definitely wanted to tap into this abundant energy um let y'all know how much i love you how much your blessings and your coverings thank you so much for my uh 777 <laughs> thank you for my cash app boo that was a nice little uh break to see while i'm recording this video i love you i love you so much i wish you nothing but the best i'm sending you nothing but good energy i'm always thinking about you and um, I just want you to know that if nobody told you that they love you today, I love you. Let me know your experience with lizards. What message resonated with you the most? Leave them in the comments because um, I like your good energy. And most importantly, you could just put a heart in there. Thank you and I love you and I'll see you in the next video.